website. Hey y'all, I just saw some old cars, some display of old cars with the hoods lifted at the Peach Blossom Diner. You want to go, don't you? Yeah, I do. <laughs> That's Scott's thing, old cars and old Camaros. Not really mine, but I could go out there. Oh, yeah. I'm not staying long. <laughs> anyway, I'm coming to y'all tonight on the way to buy a new alarm clock because I always rise and shine bright and bushy-tailed early, but not necessarily at 4 o'clock in the morning. And my clock has has done me dirty two times. It has not gone off. It didn't. I know I didn't hit the snooze. It just didn't go off. So we're in hot pursuit of that. But I wanted to have a little talk with you on the way on your second day of your 21 day of that raw vegan detox extravaganza. Bam! <laughs> so you know what? As you're starting to do this, and maybe you're new to this, maybe you're new to the lifestyle, or frankly you just can't stick to it because you can't shovel through all of the stuff that keeps coming up when you become more clear mentally on this lifestyle. I think that's a big kicker for people. It's the number one reason they fail on this diet and lifestyle. You become more sensitive to the stuff around you, you know? You become more sensitive to people's, I don't know, maybe you used to ride down the road and you were the one with road rage. Other people's road rage, you don't notice that much until you don't have it anymore. Or just people being desensitized by hurting innocent creatures, furthermore, hurting each other, watching violence on TV and on just going to the movies to be entertained by that while they cram their face full of toxic laden popcorn and a big gulp soda that they can get six refills on to totally drone them down. My daughter and I were talking about this last night. I was over there and I was saying and it, her baby had gone to sleep and uh, we were just sitting there. We were watching Edward Scissorhands. She had rent. They have no cable, so she rents her some movies, so she has some entertainment because her boyfriend works at night. So that was on. And uh, see, you could have scissors for hands. You know, you could have real problems. <laughs> anyway, so be thankful for what you have. You know. So I was saying, I was talking to Carly and. She was just sitting there very low-key like she is, and she was like, can you calm down? I really can't calm down, you know, because it's just a different feeling. We were talking about when you, you know, in the day, when we used to have the Thanksgiving feast. I just don't really celebrate that now because I'm just not cooking all that, you know. I'm watching people eat it, and no. I'm not cooking it. And so we were talking about like for example after a Thanksgiving meal how people feel and they need to go lay down and they need to just totally disengage for hours until they wake up and have another turkey sandwich on Wonder Bread with some Miracle Whip on there, right? That's right. You know you did it. Oh, I did it. I, had, I can't say I didn't. You know you and your brother was fighting over yeah. sucking the meat off the last turkey leg. <laughs> What? You? <laughs> anyway, so what we were talking about was as you become more mentally clear on this diet and lifestyle and you have more energy, it is not that easy to just tone it down. It's not that easy to just ignore the things around you anymore because you're, you're drunk by the toys, I mean food you're eating, you know? Um, I mean even she'll notice if she drinks sodas or just eats more trash kind of you know fake toy vegan food she can tell a big difference it's a it's a huge difference but what's going to keep you on that is you putting down in writing and on display the why the why you want to do it and it's going to be different for everybody you know, and being able to get past the not having any TV, not having any mental slowdown, you know, no drugs, no alcohol, no escape from your stuff that's right in your face, you know. Working through the pain and challenges are where the real growth comes from, don't you think? Are you picking up what I'm laying down? Yes, I am. <laughs> 
I mean, furthermore, if you've even been on like a raw till four and you're even trying to do a one day of raw, or you're trying to do this detox beneficial challenge, the thing is, even rice and potatoes, you can really numb yourself down with that dense, heavy food because it takes so much vital force and energy to digest those foods that it takes away from your mental capacity. I mean, so even if you've been on a real clean eating diet, your mind's going to become clearer. What else do I want to say, Scott? And you know, too, people might have mild detox symptoms that you may think, well, good Lord, my face is breaking out, or, you know, I feel angry, or I feel ill, or whatever's going to happen to you. But the thing is, that doesn't mean that this detox isn't good for you. It is good for you. You know, your skin is a number one eliminatory organ on your body it's the largest and so as you're detoxing you may have some skin breakouts some eczema some skin rashes you know what let it go let it out purge out the trash you know but you might think to yourself why am i bothering with this if i'm going to feel worse you may very well feel worse at first and then you're going to feel better but the key is to remember this say you are a smoker and you're addicted to smoking and you stop smoking one day well guess what you're gonna have withdrawals and you're gonna feel worse but that does not mean that it is beneficial for you to continue smoking right or you're addicted to alcohol or even say you just drink I don't know say you drink two shots at night or you drink whatever you drink or you're used to drinking very casually, you know, to where you think you don't even notice it, and your body will go into detox from that. You know, the liver will try to cleanse itself. You know, it's trying to save you. This is why a lot of people can't get past it, you know. I come to you to tell you this because I love you. I love you for you that's trying to be the better you. You're that kind of person, you know. So I just thought I would come to y'all with the last motivational message of the day two of 21 days, Road to Rejuvenation. I was having my dinner earlier and I was having a delicious soup and I was having it uh, with Dan and he kept on telling me to call him the man. <laughs> Isn't that funny? That is funny. He's always telling me that. I say yes, sir, to the computer, but it's like you he doesn't hear me, you know? <laughs> oh, a do-over? See y'all later. <laughs>